Joining us now is an actor known for TV shows such as Family and Crazy Like a Fox. He earned a Tony Award for Children of a Lesser God. He's also starred on Broadway in Pippin and Ragtime. Wow, take a look at his new off-Broadway show, Eisenhower, This Piece of Ground. Now, I said I never wanted the presidency, and I meant never. Remember one time when I was a boy, I was fishing with a friend of mine on Mud Creek in Abilene. We were talking about what we wanted to be when we grew up. And I said, I want to be a real Major League Baseball player like Honus Wagner. He makes $5,000 a year just for doing what fun. What about you? All right, said, please welcome Tony Award winning actor John Rubenstein. Good morning. Thank you so much for being Good with morning. us. Good morning. Pleasure here. to be here. And now, we're hearing that you have a connection with uh, Eisenhower, the 34th <laughs> president. You actually met him at a ki as a kid. I did. I did. We were in Washington, D.C. Uh, my father was a pianist. He was playing there. And uh, he and Eisenhower sort of knew each other from concerts and stuff like that. And Sherman Adams, his, uh, Ike's uh, uh, chief of staff, um, took us through the White House, gave us a big tour. Wow. And at one point, uh, he passed a, a crowded room, and there was Eisenhower talking to people. And he motioned to him to come to the door, which he did. And he, he said to me, hello, little fella, nice to meet you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was it. That oh, was that my, my interview with Ike. Wow, I mean, you even had his pin back then, right? Yes, I did. Wow, and who would have thought this many years later that you would be playing him on stage? Yep. How crazy is that for Yeah, you? It's nothing I ever expected. Mm. And now, first of all, what what is it like playing Eisenhower on stage? And, I mean, what aspect of, of Eisenhower's life does this show uh, go into? Well, it really it, it talks about his entire life, but they use a gimmick where he reads right after leaving the presidency that he has been ranked number 22 out of 35 presidents by the New York Times. Okay. And that that hurts his feelings and he starts yelling at he's recording a book that he's writing about his presidency on a tape recorder. So he turns on the tape recorder and he starts yelling about that's unfair and he <laughs> talks about other presidents. But then he realizes no 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 they're looking for something else. And he starts being more introspective. He talks about his mother, his father, his upbringing as a poor kid in Kansas, and his military training and his World War II, and it, it finally, right to the end. Probably the type of uh, thing that Schlesinger would have loved to hear instead of writing <laughs> yeah. that off. John yeah. Schlesinger wrote that article that, uh, That's that right. tipped him That's off, right. right? Is there anything new that you've learned about President oh, Eisenhower? That so much. I mean, I lived through his whole presidency. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we were, my generation were very excited by John Kennedy. He, mm -hmm. You know, when he was elected, that was the presidency and the future and America. Mm -hmm. And Eisenhower, yes, he was a great general who did great things in World War II, but his presidency didn't make a big mark on, on my generation. He was a... Uh, he was bald, and uh, he played golf. Mm. But now I know so much more about him, and he was one of the great presidents wow. of the history of this country. So I have to, I have to ask this because I love, I love seeing plays on Broadway. But when you have, it, this is the first time I think that you have done a one-man show. I mean, with all the experience that you have, what, what, what is that like? <laughs> being the only well, it's, prop it's a on completely stage, so different experience. Yeah. Part sure. of the joy of being an actor is the teamwork, is the sort of the feeling of yeah. family that you get. First rehearsal, you meet everybody, you start doing your stuff, you learn your lines. This actor does this, this actress does that. And it's a it's a fantastic feeling of let's go and do our show. Now I show up to the theater and it's just me and I sit in the dressing room and there's nobody to laugh with. And I walk out on stage, and there's nobody to act with. <laughs> and uh, I do the best I can, and the audience really seems to appreciate it because it's a beautifully written play. But it's a lonely yeah. and challenging experience. From the, table, from the table read to the stage. All That's lonely. right. <laughs> well, so, you, so you've done so much over the years. How much has theater changed, in your opinion? Well, 
It's become, as so much has in this country, it's become a little bit more of a corporate uh, right. enterprise where you're dealing with selling tickets to tourists and mm -hmm. having giant effects and the prices are so ridiculously yes. high. I grew up as a little kid in this town and I went to the theater all the time because I could afford it on yeah. my allowance. Yeah. Uh, but a kid like me now can't. I don't know who can afford, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars for a ticket to the theater. So that's changed the audience mm -hmm. and therefore that's changed the marketing and the, the way that plays are approached to sell on Broadway. They've got to be these big spectacles and yeah. these giant hits instead of just being, you know, there were so many plays, yeah. different kinds. And they didn't need to run for three or seven years. They could run for six months and be a big success. See, this is Not another anymore. one of those times that ticks me off that we've run out of time because there's so much I to talk know. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I love the theater, though. <laughs> Keep coming, everybody. Yes. Definitely. And we love Definitely. you. Thanks Thank so you much. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. All right, and you just have one more week to see Eisenhower, this piece of ground. The play runs through October 27th at, at uh, Theater at St. Clements. For further information, you visit EisenhowerThePlay.com. Thank you once again, sir. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you both right. so much.